Yo, what's good guys? Today's video is gonna be a video I've never done before, but I've always wanted to do. So when you look at the meta right now, you look at Sky Striker, you look at Thunder Dragon, you look at Alter Guys, etc, etc. A bunch of garbage decks, Mighty Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon's pretty cool, but a bunch of garbage decks that a bunch of scars pick up, it's easy to play, and tier 1, etc, etc. But when in reality, one card stops all these shit decks. What card stops Sky Strikers? It's been around since day one. Very, very simply. You turbo this card out and you auto win. Nocturia Beast. It could be Nocturia Beast. It could be Secret Village of the Spellcasters. It could be Imperial Order. Etc, etc, etc. But long story short, you pull out one of these cards, protect that card, and you auto win the duel. So today, we're going to show you guys how to put up Naturia Beast every single turn, regardless of your hand, protected by Fog Blade, Wings, and uh, the Zephra Trap. Oh, and sometimes the Jackal as well. To ensure that no matter what, that Nat Beast is staying. You're not attacking into it. You're not Ghost Augering it because we're negating it. You're not impermanencing it because we're negating it. Etc, etc. A complete auto win card against Sky Strikers. Going first, of course, and going second, we have another plan. I'm going to show you guys later how to put up Nappies every turn. Uh, but uh, auto win time when you face that deck or any deck revolves around spells, prank kids, etc, etc. So auto win with prank kids, strikers, uh, lots, lots and lots and lots and lots of decks. Naturia B. So I'm going to show you, in case you guys, the easiest way to do it. Now that this combo is very simple. Before we get into this video, guys, by the way, do make sure if you want to help support the channel, check out this trip gaming play mat that we just released with in conjunction with Imperium Duelist, the stick to the game plan play mat. Link in the description below. And if you guys do want this deck, me and my sponsor are releasing it, so let me know that I... Lots and lots of requests. I do love you guys for all of the support I've been getting for this, but both this play mat and this deck's available on my uh, sponsor's uh, Game Nation's website. Just message me on Facebook, and I'm going to message my sponsors to get it for you guys, if you guys are interested. And to those who are already requested for the budget pendulum deck, we are in the process of getting the card. It takes a long, 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 long time to get it. So do bear with me, guys, on that. Uh, we are going to get it to you guys very, very shortly. Uh, I haven't been responding because I've been literally uh, doing 18-hour days between my real job and this. So uh, bear with me on that, guys. But without further ado, make sure to subscribe, guys. Hit the notification bell. All right, all right, hit that bell. And let's get right into it. Random hand here. If we get two turbo cards, we have to beast easily. And if we don't, we still have a way we need a decent get good hand. And even if we don't get Naturia Beast, he still five negates. Every single turn does it. I will showcase a deck list for this later. And here's the hand. So, it's a pretty good hand. We should have it through this hand. So, uh, obviously here, there's lots of different ways to play through this hand. But we're going to first off go with Ravine, sending Dark Worm. I like playing through Dark Worm for this reason. Because uh, you could simply pitch that and get the Destrudo in there. Because having Destrudo in the graveyard is mighty, mighty important. It ensures that the following turn you could Yazi them. And just easily win. That's what I love about this deck. Most turns sets up uh, four, five, six negates uh, with a follow up of Yazi. So, and uh, the whole extra deck that you guys saw, uh, like my other decks, I will be posting a very updated list for you guys. But uh, you saw my other list I showed with the best profile. Uh, every single turn the pendulum should have should be related, uh, very simple to the one I showed. Where it's five, every single turn, every pendulum list. Like I said, guys, this uh, YouTube is literally for you guys to make pendulum the best deck ever. So, I countlessly test for you guys to make sure you guys can win against your opponent, but uh, this is literally, I'm not doing this like for a show or whatever, I'm doing this so you guys could actually win events with Pendulums, but uh, in my absence, because when, when I, this channel will change completely when, when I'm unbanned, because I'm unbanned, I'm just going to events and winning, but for now, I'm trying to do this so you guys can win, so do play this list so you guys can actually win, uh, Chronograph, very simply just make our Electro, and here you got to be a little smart in terms of uh, what to do and how to actually end up with the board that you want. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go into our Electrum. And I will do a deck profile on this later for those that are interested. Electrum, send. It's also just the best going first build. I signed a lot of these cards. Uh, what I signed now is, uh, I, this is like, uh, game two and game three is always like this. Because I signed the Zephyrus and I signed the Naturia Beast. Uh, let me just ensure that Zephyr is the right play. Uh, pop. Pop. One, eight. One, eight. Uh, yeah, so that's the right play. Uh, you just want to ensure, man, at all times that 
guaranteed for sure, for sure that you're going to uh, end up with you know, the not beast uh, protected with fog blades and with uh, with fog blades and the Zephyr trap. So going first, I don't main the not beast. I don't main the Zephyrus. But game two and game three, you, you know, Skysakers sometimes want to go second. So you want to ensure that when you go first, it's an auto win against that deck. Like an auto, auto win. And what's the, why side cards like Twisted Sketch, etc.? Well, you can simply, when they're going to let you go first a lot of games, uh, just side the, like you're siding the Zephyrs anyways. Side Imperial Order, sorry, sorry. Side the Nap Beast Engine and just four cards or something like that. There's plenty of space in the extra deck. There's absolutely plenty of space. And it just ensures that you're going to win. But onto the combo real quick. We're not going to put Gate Zero in, uh, in the scale, we're gonna pop the gate zero and we're going to add the chronograph. We're gonna high skill, we could pen the harmonizing hand. Uh, typically, if we had access to wisdom, we would pop the dragon ravine. Uh, we wanted Sir a jackal, we pop the dragon ravine, get Cerberus to still draw until you get even more use of your dragon ravine. Uh, dragon, like, field spells are broken in pendulum decks because after you use its effect, if you can find a way to select from draw, you get the free, uh, you get the free draw. So we cut here, it doesn't matter what we draw. Uh, okay, curtain razor, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna put purple poison. And we're going to put Chronograph in the scale. Muddy, you better put Curtain Razor. Uh, let me calculate here. We Pendulum. We pen, or we're going to put uh, we're gonna put Razor in here, saving the Chronograph in our hand uh, if something were to happen. Uh, now we Pendulum the Zephra. We Pendulum the Dark Worm. And we Pendulum the Harmonizing. Is this correct? No, no, no. Sorry, this is incorrect. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna put the chronograph there. What we should have done is pop the zero to pen someone in the purple poison. That's what we should have done, but it's totally okay. We already drew, so we're gonna put chronograph. Poison will stay here, and we're gonna pen summon. So we pen summon Harmo, pen summon Curtain Razor, pen summon Dark Worm. Perfect. And now harmonizing effect. Bring our Dragon Pulse. Uh, Zephyr effect. Get the counter trap. Putting Pearl Poison there, I was a little greedy putting Pearl Poison in scale because I forgot about harmonizing and the only way to XYZ harmonizing obviously with another magician. So we probably should have done that. Uh, we should have uh, we should have uh, popped, uh, kept the zero in the scale and some of the poison to be able to XYZ, but it's totally fine. It's already done, we already drew, so we don't want to take plays back after we draw, but that was definitely the right play. But it's totally okay, we still have our combo. So after this, we go into King of the Feral Limps. King of the Feral Limbs effect, detach. Then we have Dark Worm Destruido and Grave for next turn. We did not normal summon to do this combo. There's another way to do the combo if we do normal summon to make Electrum. This is a proxy, I don't have it more. It's Symphonic. The Symphonic, uh, or yeah, the Symphonic card. Uh, I'm going to showcase you guys on a video, a photo of it right now. Uh, very simple with the Symphonic card is it's level 5, forgot his name. Symphonic uh, something something. It's irrelevant. Level 5, send it with Electrum. Pen summon it. When this card's no more special summon, you can normal summon once more turn once more that turn. You want the feral limps after normal pulse, or you got it. Uh and that's how you make the combo. So if you do do it without the normal summon. If you have to make electron without your no while normal summoning. And now we got Palomaro there. As you see, this is easy game. Uh we have an even cooler combo. What we should have done is we should have put, put gate zero, right? So we put gate zero. If we put gate zero there instead. Would have been pen summoning the purple poison, and it would have been like this if we did a smart play by popping the gate zero. So, just look out, uh, bear with me for a little bit. If we pop the gate zero, if we made sure to pen summon the poison instead of the zero, does that make sense? So, uh, just a smart play. So, we still have the combo, but what we're gonna do instead is by King of the Feral thing like this. I know it's going back a little bit, but just a bonehead play that I didn't do it before. Uh, so uh, you summon it like this. So I mean, this would have been the exact same result just by putting uh, poison, uh, popping poison first instead of popping the gate zero. We we're a little greedy to put poison in the scale, just wanting it in the scale for its effect. But we're going to have no dark spell casters anyways. So this is just overall the smarter play, if that makes sense. And uh, so it was a misplay in my end not to do it at the beginning. But it's the exact same result so far. You're not changing anything. Uh, next, underclock. Right there. Next, you normal summon Palomaro because you didn't normal yet. P P Pulse will get banished. And again, this whole play was 100% possible. It just you have to pen, right? Because I completely forgot harmonizing. Uh, you're not going to XYZ with harmonizing. So you got it before you make your play, guys. Like, even I'm the pen gun, and I still made a mistake there. You really, if you don't think, because I'm concentrating on making the video, you have to think on making the combo before you actually do it. 
Because one card off will, will result in one less of a negate. So, uh, in doing so, you get the Nap Beast now. And your turn's not over. You now uh, Curtain Razor. Sorry, no, no. You King of the Feral Imps and you Underclock. You go into Rusty. Rusty effect now. Obviously, you're going to get out your, your stuff. So, you're gonna, what you're going to do here is you're going to do Cloak. Like, the result would have been the exact same. It would have just been a harmonizing on the field instead of a curtain razor actually so it would have been the exact same result but cloak where you set the fo uh, the fog blade by sending cloak to grave you banish cloak at boots you special the boots you special this you just do the fact this is why i love playing cloak and boots like you don't just uh, get the two traps you also get a free monster on board You'll be absolutely stupid not to play it. And uh, they're drawing them is nice. You just get free cards from it. They're all pluses. Uh, you pen some of them and get pluses. Uh, and then you synchro. Making dragster. And you banish the boots. And you get your last fog blade. So just like that, your turn is Naturia Beast, Dragster, Double Fog Blade, and Zephyr Divine Strike. And uh, as you guys see, absolutely busted. Your opponent won't be able to do anything. Good luck playing. Like, good luck playing. You're literally not doing anything. Like, the only way to get rid of... Okay, <laughs> what are you going to do? Impermanence the Nap Beast? Negate. Would you like to destroy Nap Beast by attacking? You can't attack anymore. And it's just a complete auto win. And next turn, you're going to Yazi them. Because Ravine stays on board. So regardless of what you draw, you simply draw and discard it with Ravine. Sending the drag, the, uh, the Destrudo, Destrudo, and uh, Curtain Razor. You go into Yazi. So before your pen summon, you have a Yazi. And you have all the cards in your extra deck to OTK with them. So it's built in a way where they can't play first turn. And going second, uh, you Yazi them. Or sorry, uh, going first still on turn two. After they can't clear it, you just Yazi them. And they somehow find a way to clear anything which they can't. It's you just Yazi them and win. Like, Mary Mary Yazi is absolutely busted. You need to play even going first. And it's absolutely insane. That's the deck. Uh, going first uh, in every single... This is every co the competitive list I have right now. But again, you don't main the Nappies. You don't main the Zephyr. I always side that, depending on the matchup. And uh, also, what I'm debating, I'm thinking to make a, a, a build revolving around Griffin, Order. Like, you could do the same thing by protecting Order. Like, Order, Dragster, Zephyr, Divine Strike... It's still a game. You're going to have two negates protecting the Imperial Order. So I might do that as well. But this is the list right now. Obviously, Blade Strikers, and Prank Kids. And really, any deck that really, really, really needs spells. Uh, pendulums. Like, uh, this absolutely destroys Pendulums. Like, which I do believe, from the bottom of my heart, is the best deck. It's just that people don't play it. So I'm testing more so for what you're going to see versus what's actually the best. But absolutely insane list. It really is. Like, on top of all that, like, you're OTKing them too. Like, no one's playing through this whatsoever. No deck in the world. No deck in the world is playing through this. And then you got Yazi them. So, because uh, you have the curtain raising this Strudo by just sending the card you drew. And uh, then after you take care of all this stuff, then you pendulum summon everything and win a ball sword, etc., etc. Absolutely insane. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to check out the Triff Gaming Stick to the Game Plan Play Mat by me and Imperium Duelist. Link in the description below. If you guys want these cards, use Pengod 5 in the description below. And I will be releasing this list as well. Uh, my best pendulum list at the moment as well as the budget pendulum list I know I haven't reached out to all you guys who have requested for it But I've been super 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 busy guys literally working 8 17 18 hour days to well, my real job and putting all these lists and of lifting like I'm lifting again now trip fitness is coming back like lots of super super busy But I'm still doing my best to get out to you guys. I can go party right now but Rather than doing that I'd rather give you videos for the greatest friends in the world So I hope you guys like the video make sure to subscribe make sure to hit the notification bell And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace